Nimra Tech has asked us to come up with ideas for him for his logo. We're happy to oblige. We're just creating a gradient text logo because it's currently on trend. So I want to show you how you do that. I saw that on uh, Design with Canva and I thought, let me bring it to you guys. So it is beautiful. It's gradient. It's currently on trend. We will create another video for him, showing him the other two designs that we came up with for him. But today, let's jump in and create the gradient text logo using Canva. In order for you to create this text gradient logo, you're going to open a logo canvas and you're then going to go to your elements and you're going to search for gradient. So this is going to be in four part step and we start by searching for gradient and on gradient you are looking for graphics. You don't want the transparent one, you want the full colored one. Sometimes it would have three colors, sometimes it would have two colors. So you click on it once and then this particular one has two colors. Oh, look how gorgeous these other ones are, but that I'm not concentrating on that yet. You're going to size it and have it color your canvas like that. And once you've covered your canvas like that, you're gonna press T for text, or you're gonna go to your menu and search for text. You're then going to type the name of the company. I'm going to fast forward typing the name of the company because you, we, you guys know how to type the name of a company, right? Once you have created your text and you're happy with them, you can uh, align them so that they're nicely aligned. You can then group them like this and then go to transparency and reduce the transparency of your text to 40. Once the transparency is reduced like we've done now, you're then able to go on share and you download your design, not as a transparent background, just as it is as a PNG, and you download it like that. Next, you're going to create a second page. And on your second page, you're going to add the design that you've just created. And yes, you do need Canva Pro for this one because we're going to remove the background of our design. That's step number two. So you size it quite nicely like this, you select it, you click on edit image and then you go to remove background. Once the background is removed and you're happy like that, you're going to click on apply. However, take note, if it does not remove some of the background and it doesn't look the way that you want, you're always able to click on erase and scroll in and erase the little parts that you don't want. My design worked quite nicely and it's perfect. Then I'm going to continue and go to step number three and adjust the brightness so I have it just the way that I want. Once you're done and you're happy, you're gonna go on share and then you're going to download it as a transparent background because we are going to jump to photo P and we're going to convert this design to a 3D. Once you're on photo P, you are able to upload your own PSD files and go find it on open computer and then follow that process. I find it much easier if you use the PSD templates that are already on there. I'm, I'm busy learning how to create these PSD mockups for us. But for now, I'm happy to use what we can find over there or download using unblast.com. I'll, I'll include the links on the description below for you. Once your PSD 3D mockup has loaded, you're going to click where it says your logo here and hide the group, drag your design and then size it, align it and then go file, save as smart object and then click where it says your logo mockup once. And then your design is stunning. It is gradient. It looks amazing. Balls. And that is how you create a 3D gradient without using frames. Once you're happy, you go export as a PNG and then you save it and you have a gorgeous looking 
logo that looks like that and that is 3d that's gradient and that's currently on trend you could watch the next video that i'm going to create for nimra tech and giving him two more ideas for his logo thanks for watching if you're enjoying the tutorials do not forget to smash the like button so that youtube will be kind to my channel and send it to more people and we can grow like that i do appreciate your time i will see you on the next video